だけどね。Hi there guys and welcome to my first ever Flash um, CS4 tutorial. Um, yeah, so this is my first ever and I thought I've had a couple of requests and about Flash, using Flash with Dreamweave and a lot of other things and I should do some tutorials and I thought you know might as well go ahead. Um, what Flash is, is it a is a program that lets you create um, like things I don't know. You can you can even create games of this, and it works really well with Dreamweaver. You can create text. You can create just any like pictures, and they're really low file formats, and they work really well with websites, especially Dreamweaver. They import easily. They're low low file and they're high quality, low file size and high quality. Yeah. So yeah. So I don't know if this works in CS5. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it, but I'm not saying it doesn't. Um. So have a go. Um, if it does work for you, leave a message in the, um, the in your comments saying it does. Um, I know this works for CS4 and CS3, so we need to use Action Script 2.0 here, and we're going to click that, and it's going to bring us into this. So the slideshow that we are going to be creating, um, it's used in a lot of tutorials. Um, tutorials? What am I on about? A lot of websites, and it's just great, great thing to use, and they always look cool. So first off, we're going to just make sure on the properties tab up here, and on the size, we're going to click Edit. I'm going to make this 600 by 200 pixels, so 600 for height, two, um, 600 for width, 200 for height. Click, click OK. So have this nice rectangle, and I have a couple pictures I want to import. We have this left arrow, right arrow, and these three icons. Now, um, back in Flash, I'm going to go to File, Import, Import to Library. Now, if I had imported it to the stave. Um, it would bring it into here and I want them in the library so they're tucked away and I can just drag them into all the ones I want. So um yeah, to import more than one file, I'm gonna click on it on the one I want, hit control, sorry, control or command if you're on a a Mac, and I'm gonna click to flash, Photoshop, make sure you're holding down control or command and then click in them and it'll highlight them all the ones that you want. Um and hit open. Now it looks like nothing's happened, but if you go over to the library tab, as you can see, Dreamweaver, Flash, Left, Photoshop, and Right. So first off, I'm because this is going to be my first out of a few. I'm only going to be making th three slideshows, but you can do up to however far this goes. You can have it up to like 600 odd, but you know I don't think anyone would really want that. But first off, I'm just going to drag the Flash in. Now I'm just going to drag it in like so, and I'm going to hit Control. T and it's going to bring up my transform. Now I'm going to take this scale down to 50 and 50 so it looks nice. It doesn't look distorted or anything in there. And exit out. It's going to drag this to the top left hand corner and as you can see it's centered it out for me. It looks nice. So now once we've got that there, I'm going to get the text tool over here and I'm going to wait until that loads um, like so and it'll bring up this little box. It's going to click that, drag out, and I'm going to write flash. Um, flash icon. Right, so once that's done, I'm going to click my selection tool. I'm just going to drag this down and I'll also scale this down. So flash icon. The best thing is you can actually link this up. So if this says um, click here for my tutorials, click here for the contact page, you can link this up to your website. Um, so that's a really good thing to do. So we've got these in here now, and I'm going to want to import these left and right buttons. So I'm going to get the left one, just drag it on. And I'm going to hit Control T, and I'm going to make this 13, sorry, 14 by 13. Uh, okay, exit that. Now you can get these off the web. You can create them. It's best to create them if you're using your own website. You know, don't want to do copyright or anything like that. So I have this one here, and also I'm going to right click. And I'm, I didn't actually create these. I did get them off the web, but these are. It was a non-copyright said from the actual website, so that's all right. So now I have this left and right arrow here, um, like so. So yeah, so we have this flash icon, the flash text, and these two buttons here. Now you can have going on, you can have a background in here, you can have a load of writing, um, you can link them all up. And then if you, you can, I don't know if you actually can link these up. I'm not sure if you can. I don't think you can, but you can link text up, so link text up to stuff. But first off, we're going to need to create these to a symbol. So the way to do this is uh, hit F8, 
and if I name, make sure the type is a button. You can use you might say movie clip or graphic. Just choose button because it actually is a button, and I'm going to name this left. Uh, make sure there's no spaces or capital letters. And hit OK. I'm going to do the exact same for the other one. F8. Make sure it's a button, and I'm going to choose right. Okay. So now these, as you can see, when I click on this one, it sort of brings this like fuzzy board, board around the side. If I click on these, it sort of gives this look on this little arrow at the top here. But we need to um, do some stuff to this now. So I'm going to right click on it, and I am going to choose actions. Now you can hit F9, but I can't do that because of um, um, my F9 will stop my video from playing and I don't want that to happen so I'm going to click actions now it'll bring up this little bo box here now it'll say action script 1.0 and 2.0 that's what you want to be in and you're going to go to the description and there'll be a little thing that you'll copy and it'll look like this on release then it'll be a go to then frame and then stop so I'm just going to make this just one I'm not going to actually do anything to these now so go to frame one once that's done exit out and I'm going to do the exact same to this one. So right click, actions, or F9 for you, you can do that. And I'm going to do the exact same. Well, I'm going to say this to 2 now. And then I'm going to exit out. Alright. So now we've linked them up. And when we click them, it will take us to the next page. So, um, yeah. So we need to create another. Um, keyframe so another type of um, slideshow like this so on the next keyframe across on two keyframe I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose insert keyframe so now it's just copied the exact same as what we've got and we're gonna wanna change this so the text I'm gonna get the text tool and I'm just gonna change this to, to um, Photoshop uh, icon and I'm just gonna get the select tool drag out like so I'm going to change this with the Dreamweaver but button and I'm going to just scale this down control T and um, 50 by 50 why 50 percent that's a bit too big so 25 by 25 depending on the size of your image like so um, I'm just going to want to delete the flash one and I'm just going to drag this one into the top left hand corner like I did before why have I brought the Dreamweaver one out um, let's rename this to Dreamweaver. Sorry, I didn't know about that. Um, Dreamweaver. Okay, get this, scale this down like so. So now we have this um, Dreamweaver one, we have the flash, then it goes to Dreamweaver, and as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Now we're going to want to create one more, right click, insert keyframe, and I'm going to want to rename this Photoshop icon. Oh, sorry, Photoshop icon, like so. Now in the Dreamweaver over here, delete that, and I'm going to bring in my Photoshop one, and I'm going to Control T, scale this down to 25 by 25. Uh, should be all right. Yep. Exit that. Drag this into the top corner. Now remember, you can edit this to your likings. You can have whatever. And this is now what we got to do to create the uh, annotation line. So if I click Control and Enter now, it'll say Export. And as you can see, it just goes through an absolute ton of these. And this is not what we want it to do. Okay. So as you can see, when I've pressed it, it does work. So when it's on this one, I can click the next button. It'll take me to that. But we need to stop it from doing that. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec. But if we go back to the actual Dreamweaver icon one here and we click on the symbol right click actions we need to change this to three so now what happens is when I go to the third when it goes to here it's click the next it's going to go to the third one and on the third one I'm going to right click I'm sorry click on this right click actions and I'm going to make this go back to number one so now it's gone from one then it goes to two then it's going to go to three and then it's going to go straight back to one so it's going to go through like that now with the previous button, um, I'm going to click this one here, um, right click, actions. Now when it says go to, I'm going to choose number three, because if it's on this one and we click back, it's going to take us to number three. This one, we're going to 
um, make sure we right click actions now we want this to say number one and also on this one we're going to make want to make sure it says number eight on the frame here two all right okay so now if I just click control enter um, this is going to be messed up for a sec but um, oh I can't stop it now <laughs> but I'm going to show you how to stop that now so what's going to happen is you're going to want to make sure you clicked on nothing and you're going to click F9 now the reason why I can't show you how to do this is it's because it's going to stop my um, pause it and I you know and I'm, I'm using Adobe Audition to record my voice because my um, mic does not work with the one built into my Camtasia so you're going to click F9 and I'm going to have a video running when I'm speaking now of me doing this to show you you're going to put um, stop all in lower STOP open bracket close bracket then a semi colon alright so that's the one with the dot and the little um, like sort of smudge dot at the bottom and you're going to do that and then hit OK and I'm going to have another video showing of this slideshow working so this is going to be running on the screen right now and i sorry I can't do that because it's just going to stop my whole video and it's just going to mess everything up so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and please subscribe see ya <laughs>